Hiya, welcome to Beer Fan TV. Um, today we are reviewing the Goose IPA. Um, I'm a big fan of the uh, Perfect Drive Machine. I've got one and uh, I'm more, I mainly drink, as I said in previous ones, I mainly drink the Stella and the, uh, and the Lager on it. I'm trying to get into my IPAs and um, there's a few people that really rave on about the Goose IPA. So I didn't want to buy a keg without uh, maybe try before you buy and it's kind of difficult with the with the perfect draft because apart from Stella um, and these goose the goose IPAs a lot of them the lefties you know you can get a few of those in bottles and stuff before you buy but a lot of it can be quite hard to find in your local supermarket and shops so as soon as I saw this I thought I'll get a can and uh, and give it a go see what I think um, I'm I've got to go interview the kind of the IPAs that I've tried and that have been on the channel. Um, I think the best one I've tried so far that I've really liked is the anti-establishment IPA that can be found in um, in Howdy for like a quid. So perfect, right? Um, but they don't do that on the perfect draft. But um, I'm keen to get into this, so we're gonna give this a try today, see what I think. Excuse the Carling glass. Um, these are just actually really good. Um, I normally use this for the sub, to be honest. Um, small glass, keep your beer fresh. Um, great for that. And this is only a can, so I thought if I put this into a pint glass, it'd be putting a sort of round peg in a square hole. So I thought this was a better fit for what it is. Apologies if it's if it's not. And um, um, oh, I've kind of cracked it open really before I said anything about what it is and what the uh, the alcohol uh, levels and stuff are. This is a five point nine percent beer. There, if you can zoom in and you can see that three hundred thirty mil can. Goose IPA. Um, I'd like to try and wow you some fantastic facts about Goose IPA, but unfortunately I know none. Um, oh, apart from I love the logo, so I'd love to be able to pimp out my PD machine with Goose, Goose Island um, IPA stuff. Um, but um, I feel like I need to like the beer on the IPA before I do that. That's a terrible pour. Um, here we go. So first off, there we go. That's an amazingly massive four-finger head. Maybe three. Um, but straight off the bat, um, it's quite clear. Actually, it's not, it's got a little bit of cloudiness to it. Um, it's got quite a foamy head, but that might be the way that I've poured it. Maybe not necessarily the best. I did have a bar job when I was a, uh, a very young gentleman. Um, not the best. But um, but yeah, let's get our nose under it, first of all. It's got that IPA smell. But I would say, not the really strong IPA smell, to be honest. It's got that... And the IPAs have it doesn't have that to be honest, which is quite nice. Let's have a look carbonation wise, it doesn't appear to be a lot. To be honest, this is a good glass for that. To be honest, the old carbonation, ignore the name, Carlin, um, and quite a, a, a frothy, foamy head. So, yeah, um. Goose IPA. Let's get this, get it in the mouth, see what it tastes like. Mm. Okay. Quite strong in tasting, actually. Um, okay. The biggest problem I have as a lager drinker is with those IPAs. It's got that certain quite strong taste to it, um, IPAs. And that's what I struggle with the most. I think my first encounter of IPAs was never positive. Um... I live in a town where there's a shopping centre and they actually had a this little pop-up bar that used to sell IPAs. And I went there probably a couple of years ago when they started getting big, the craft beers. And they had all these amazing cans and you think, oh, which one? I don't, I don't want to choose. And they were warm. And uh, I'm talking room temperature warm. And I had one. I remember thinking like, whoa, that's quite a strong taste to the beer. And that always kind of stuck with me, to be honest. And I never really went back to them again. Uh, but now I'm getting into my beers. I think IPAs, there's so many different craft beers and stuff to choose from. I'm really trying to get back into them. And I've struggled a little bit. You know, I've tried the Club Tropica. Not so keen on that. The anti-establishment IPA from Aldi, I swear down, for anyone looking to get into um, an IPA, great starter. Absolutely cheap. Great. This was about just over £2 for the can. Um, and the and the anti-establishment was a lot cheaper. Um, but, um, first off, wasn't too bad. You could definitely taste that typical IPA taste in it. Um, it wasn't 
a lingering taste. It wasn't so strong that it stays there too long. Um, I mean, it's lager's just easy drinking. You can sit there in the summers. Lager just tastes so good. Um, IPA. I'm trying to. I'm trying my hardest to get into it. Mm. Okay. Second mouthful is definitely a lot better. Definitely a lot better. Um, I would say carbonation wise, it doesn't appear to be quite a lot. So it's quite smooth, quite easy to drink. Um, it does leave you with that kind of strong, bitter taste that you've got, but not like some of these other IPAs that I've tried. Um, so I'd say that's definitely going in its favour. It hasn't got a strong, pungent smell to it either. Um, I mean, obviously, the big thing is you're drinking out of a can. Drinking out of a keg or a bottle, it could be a bit different. So I'd definitely say, you know, if you if you quite like your IPAs, I would probably say, this is probably right down your alley, if you've got a PD machine, perfect draft machine, don't hesitate to go out and order one. But I'll go back in for a third taste. Wow. The third taste is even better than the second, to be honest. It's getting better. It's getting better as more goes down, to be honest. Um, yeah, okay. Maybe the second and third were better. But <laughs> joking aside, it's... Um, it's quite easy drinking. It's uh, quite cloudy. So it's not that clear. It's not like a lager. Frothy head that seems to sit with it. It'll probably follow it down to the end, to be honest. Um, Taste-wise, it's not actually too bad. For someone that's normally a lager drinker, um, based off of what I'm trying here, I don't know if I'd rush out and buy a keg for the perfect draft, if I'm completely honest. I'd be very keen to try it in a bottle before I'd done that. Um, but... If we look at the cost, £2 a can. Um, as far as I, uh, IPAs go, not too bad, to be honest. Um, I would say if I had the choice of a Goose IPA or an anti-establishment IPA from Audi, I think I'd go with the anti-establishment. I think it tastes a bit better. It's the aftertaste. Excuse me, a bit gassy. It's just that strong aftertaste. Not so keen on that. Um, but as far as a canned one goes, first off, price. So I think £2 for a can, which is like 330 um, is, in my opinion, you know, not cheap, is it, to be honest? If you're um, buying a couple of cans, especially potential lockdowns and stuff like that, if you're buying a few cans, it's going to be expensive and you don't get as much. But then again, it is quite high on the old percentage, and it's 6%, you know, it's quite strong. Um, so probably if it's a school night, you probably don't want to do too many of them. But I'll probably turn around and say, cost-wise, you're probably looking closer, to, in my opinion, to probably a five or a six. But I think as far as tastes go, as far as the IPAs, it's not the worst IPA I've ever tasted. I could probably drink it, to be honest. Um, but it's got that, it's got that quite bitter, strong aftertaste that sits in your mouth. Well, I don't know if I could actually drink it, drink too many of them. I couldn't do a session on it, if that makes sense. I think I'll probably have to come off after a few pints. Um, so I'll probably turn around and say, look, I'll probably give it about a five as far as um, rating it as a beer. And um, yeah, that's my professional opinion. I'm going to force myself to finish it. I'll say force myself, it's not that painful. But um, listen, thank you for watching. And um, like I said, like, subscribe, comment, always welcome. Thank you. Have a good evening.